Dear children, this is our second revision class. This class we are discussing the remaining activities of the revision chapters. First, we are discussing the use of can or can't. The things that we can do, there we use can and some things we can't do, there we can use can't. So, let's discuss with examples. The fish can swim. The sparrow can't swim. The parrot can fly. I can't fly. The rabbit can run. The turtle can't run. The dog can bark. The cat can't bark. So, here is Canum, Cantum, you see, and the Lark Manslight and down the Jarkino. Namaka Kari in the Kardangal Parinath in the Vendi Tana can use say in the can't use in the Namkun Kariatha mention say in Burana can't use say in the The first revision class we discuss some riddles and now let's discuss some more riddles. I have a long tail. I am afraid of cats. Who am I? Mouse. I have no legs and hands. I can crawl. Who am I? Worm. I have six legs. I am a small creature. Who am I? Ant. Once more, all of you listen carefully and say the answers. I have a long tail. I am afraid of cats. Who am I? Mouse. Then, I have no legs and hands. I can crawl. Who am I? Worm. Then, I have six legs. I am a small creature. Who am I? Ant. Here we want to discuss two conversations. One is between the Sam and Lizzie and one is between the rat and the Rowley. So let's go through the conversation. Conversation 1. It is from the chapter Who is our neighbor? One day Sam and Lizzie saw a teddy bear on a chair in the veranda of children's paradise. What would be their conversation? So let's discuss that. Sam. Hey look there is a teddy bear. Lizzie. It is so cute. Sam, let's play with it. Lizzie, oh sure. Once more, what Sam said to Lizzie when he saw the teddy bear? Hey look, there is a teddy bear. Then Lizzie said, it is so cute. Then what Sam asked to Lizzie? Let's play with it. Then Lizzie said, oh sure. Okay, all of you study it well. The mouse invited Rowley to his house for a party and mouse arranged many dishes for Rowley. Then, can you write the conversation between the mouse and Rowley? Mouse, Rowley, they are for you. Rowley, thank, thank you dear for arranging a great party for me. Mouse, it's my pleasure. When the mouse invite the Rowley into his house and arranged a great party, this is the conversation between Mouse and Rowley. Mouse said to Rowley, Rowley, they are for you. Rowley, thank you dear for arranging a great party for me. Then Mouse said, it's my pleasure. 
Let's study some plural words of the singular words. Almond, almonds. Potato, potatoes. Tomato, tomatoes. Vegetable, vegetables. Rat, rats. Nut, nuts. Once more, almond, almonds. Potato, potatoes. Tomato, tomatoes. Vegetable, vegetables. Rat, rats. Nut, nuts. All of you say, almond, almonds. Potato, potatoes. Tomato, tomatoes. Vegetable, vegetables. Rat, rats. Nut, nuts. Some more. Apple, apples. Orange, oranges. Bag, bags. Pen, pens. Pencil, pencils. Once more. Apple, apples. Orange, oranges. Bag, bags. Pen, pens. Pencil, pencils. And now let's discuss the rooms and its uses. It is from the chapter Who is our neighbor? Kitchen to cook, drawing room to welcome guests, bathroom to take bath, store room to store things, bedroom to sleep. Once more, kitchen to cook, drawing room to welcome guests, bathroom to take bath, store room to store things, bedroom to sleep. Clear? Or if you say it after me, what's the use of kitchen? To cook. What's the use of drawing room? To welcome guests. What's the use of bathroom? To take bath. What's the use of store room? To store things. What's the use of bedroom? To sleep. Clear? Or if you study well. Understand the correct expression of Rowley in each situation. Ready? Rowley can't stay at night. What will be Rowley's expression? Rowley is sad. Rowley can't bear the hot sun. What will be the Rowley's expression? Rowley is tired. Rowley can see everything in the daylight. Then Rowley is happy. Once more, Rowley can't see at night. Then Rowley is sad. Rowley can't bear the hot sun. Then Rowley is tired. And Rowley can see everything in the daylight. Then what will be Rowley's expression? Yes, Rowley is happy. Rowley got a new friend. Rowley is happy. Rowley stared at the mouse. Then Rowley is angry. Rowley got a new friend. Then Rowley is happy. Rowley stared at the mouse. Rowley is angry. Let's discuss some prepositions. The use of in, on, under, near, in a sentence. The ball is on the ground. The bat is in the box. The snake is in the pot. The park is near the bus stop. The ball is on the ground. Where is the ball? It is on the ground. The bat is in the box. Where is the bat? It is in the box. And the snake is in the pot. Snake is in the pot. The park is near the bus stop. What's the meaning? The ball is on the ground. Ball every day on a ground. Ground in day. Mughalil on a. 
it is a flat surface that's why we are using on the bat is in the box box nu parayumba adinte ullil vekkanulla space undu so we can use in snake is in the pot pot inde ullil snake ni irikkanulla space undu so the snake is in the pot snake ne namaku pot inde ullil vekkam so the snake is in the pot the park is near the bus stop near meaning adutte park evideyana it is near the bus stop bus stop in adutana park what are domestic animals domestic animals that we are keeping in our house can you name some domestic animals cow donkey cat horse duck hen dog etc are the domestic animals what are wild animals that are living in forest can you name some wild animals tiger lion rhino bear giraffe are included in the wild animals tiger lion rhino bear giraffe etc dear children so we revised all the activities of these three revision chapters so you study well and here i am concluding my classes so all of you study well and prepare your best for the third assessment wish you all the best all of you take care thank you